Turns out Mark Zuckerberg has a dark past with TikTok that he doesn't want anyone knowing about right now. It's no secret that the banning of TikTok in the US would benefit Meta. But the lengths that Zuck has gone to to make it happen is shocking. But before he wanted to get rid of it, he wanted to own it. In 2016, Zuckerberg was in serious talks with the founders of Musical.ly, which is now TikTok. But when the deal never happened, he tried to copy it with an app called Lasso. If you've never heard of it, it's because it failed miserably. But then when TikTok started taking off and Trump wanted to ban it in 2020, he began aggressively lobbying against against TikTok in Washington. In a private dinner at the White House, he argued that China's internet firms posed a threat to American businesses and, quote, should be a bigger concern than reigning in Facebook. Remember his position on China because this gets crazy. Now, after TikTok survived the first ban, the Washington Post received leaked emails confirming that Mark Zuckerberg paid a large consulting firm last year to organize a nationwide campaign with the primary goal of turning the public against TikTok. He officially entered his villain era at this point. One email read, dream would be to get stories with headlines like from Don to danger. How TikTok has become the most harmful social media space for kids. This was in reference to dangerous trends that supposedly started on TikTok, but after investigation turned out to have originated on Facebook. Other messages the firm was trying to push was that TikTok is the real threat, especially as a foreign-owned app that is number one in sharing data that young teens are using. Sounds a lot like yesterday's hearing in Congress. But before he was worried about data being shared to China, he wanted to be in China. In efforts to get Facebook unbanned in the country, he learned Mandarin to give speech touted Chinese science fiction books to all of his followers, posted a photo of himself jogging through Tiananmen Square, and here's the wildest part, he even asked Chinese President Xi Jinping to bestow an honorary name on his then unborn daughter during a White House dinner. Fast forward to today and all that hard work might just be paying off. And unfortunately for Mark Zuck, if anyone wants to look this stuff up, it's all public information. But the question is, if TikTok does get banned, would people go back to Meta or not?